now news from Assam. The Election Commission today ordered fresh voting in one polling station of Assam's Ratbari seat. Following a controversy over officials transporting an electronic voting machine or the EVM in a car connected to the BJP candidate. The four officials involved have been suspended. The incident has led to had led to violence in Karim Ganj district where the seat is located. The car belonged to the wife of Krishnendu Paul, a BJP contestant in nearby Pathar Kandi. Top opposition leaders today cited this to allege malpractices by the ruling BJP. Assam went through the second phase of polling yesterday and recorded over 77% turnout and a few instances of violence. This is this is spoken from a position of weakness faced by imminent defeat. Of आगे आगे देखिए अब क्या होगा कि जो जो चुनाव आगे बढ़ता जाएगा ये एक और इल्जाम लगाएंगे ये ये आरोप लगाएंगे कि बीजेपी ने मशीनों में कुछ ऐसा यंत्र फिक्स कर दिया था कि बटन तो दबाया जा रहा था हाथ का लेकिन वोट जा रहा था कमल को तो ये सारी बातें और अब लोग इतने समझदार हो गए और हमारा सारा युवा वोटर आई डोंट थिंक इससे कोई बहुत बहुत अधिक अंतर जांच अपनी जगह होती रहेगी तो जहां जांच करने वाली एजेंसियां वो अपना काम करें उसमें उसमें इस तरह की बयानबाजी की कोई जरूरत नहीं है ना गुंजाइश anybody else star other than authorized by the district election officer if he has committed a mistake he must be punished and i believe they have already suspended him and inquiry must be conducted as to the circumstances leading to this in any case no election official can take other uh, candidate star even if his car is broken down but this cannot happen this should not happen the latest that we are picking up from election commission through our sources is that what sources from the election commission are telling us is that the uh, commission has taken cognizance of uh, the issue of the evm being transported uh, in a uh, vehicle which is linked to a bjp candidate in assam in fact uh, what we are picking up is that the commission in all likelihood is going to order a repoll uh, in that particular police station and the officials responsible in terms of the transportation of the evm uh, would get suspended that's the uh, latest update that we have however uh, we did speak at ground zero with uh, the district uh, administration as well as the police sources so what we picked up is that what happened actually last evening is that uh, this uh, polling station 179 of ratabadi uh, uh, constituency which falls under karimganj uh, uh, you know karimganj district of barag valley where polling took place yesterday now after the polling process got completed the polling party was returning back to karimganj town now the vehicle assigned to them in terms of transportation of the evm broke down midway the presiding officer got in touch with the sector officer and he was assured that a replacement vehicle would be sent in now the for reasons best known to the uh, polling team there they decided to take a lift from a private vehicle which was passing by they also had an escort vehicle uh, along with them this is what police sources have uh, told us now as they approached the uh, karimganj town a mob actually attacked uh the vehicle they uh, bit up the driver uh, and police sources also tell us that there might be uh, also supporters of uh, the opposition parties in that mob but that is not important because the uh, because the mob attack basically took place the mob fury or the you know uh, and entire ruckus took place there largely because the word went out that the evm was being transported in a vehicle which belongs to a bjp candidate not from ratabari constituency but at just the uh, adjoining pathar gandhi constituency and in fact now uh, you know records the uh, affidavit that uh, that particular candidate from pathar gandhi had uh, filed uh, with the ec clearly shows that the uh, vehicle actually belongs to him what happened is that when the mob attacked the driver and get out the vehicle then police had to resort to lathi charge and later they had to also blank fire to disperse the crowd but this just goes to show there were serious lapses there in terms of the transportation of the evms perhaps now we have to wait in terms of what explanation the ec uh, gives in this regard apart from taking necessary action and i'm joined by tanveer zafar ali who is the former election observer thank you very much mr ali for speaking with the ndtv uh this is something very inappropriate that we saw the actions of uh, the election commission uh, the polling officers over there uh, what is your reaction to that Yes, this conduct of the polling staff of taking a lift from private vehicle is totally uh, objectionable and totally ridiculous. Number one, a proper inquiry should be conducted 
whether or not the vehicle broke down or not. Number two, even if their vehicle broke broke down, they should have asked. You see, all the stations uh, are connected to one sector magistrate or the other. He should have informed the sector magistrate to send an alternate pickup vehicle, and he should have waited for that vehicle. Number two, that blunder he did that without asking the identity of the vehicle, whose vehicle is this? They coolly took a lift. This is totally uh, ridiculous. The action should be taken against them. Right. Uh, right. I think Election Commission will be taking that action. But joining me right now is Bhaskar Gogoi. He's the leader of BJP. Thank you very much, Mr. Gogoi, for speaking yeah. with NDTV. Uh, it seems like a very uh, interesting coincidence that the car which was coming right behind the Election Commission car, the poll, I'm sorry, the polling officer's car was a BJP candidate's car and they managed to hail it. Yeah, right. Uh, I even in a previous phone in I said that uh, we just because of the rains and the bad roads, the election commission's mandated car couldn't reach the polling station. And this election officials, in order to in order to take this EVM, they've done this huge uh, error of judgment and uh, took lift in this car which belongs to the uh, candidate's wife. So it was wrong on their part and they should have consulted senior officials before ringing in a very... Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gogoi, did at any point of time the driver, whoever was driving the car, uh, identify himself? No, I am not privy to this detail. Okay. But uh, what, what comes, uh, what I came to know is that uh, this is the only vehicle uh, there and it was the only vehicle which could have crossed that uh, muddy patch of that road towards uh, the strong road. So... They thought that uh, without a, any second thoughts or without taking, uh, seeking any consultation with their seniors, they have done this great mistake, uh, which uh, lead to their uh, suspension also. And now we find that uh, opposition has launched into it and make it a more mountain out of a mole hill. Right. Uh, Mr. Gogoi, but there are questions being raised about the EVM being found in that car and yes. I'm going to bring in yeah, Bobita. Of course, of course, of course yes. EVM is found in that car because the election official responsible for the safeguard ah, of the right. EVM took lift in that car. So it was more of an error of judgment on their part, a mistake on their part. I agree. And, uh, I agree. The responsibility primarily lies in the polling officers. But uh, I'm joined by Bobita Sharma, who's the media chairperson and general secretary of Assam Congress. And they have some uh, other accusations to make. Kindly listen in and then react. Uh, Ms. Sharma. Well, you have seen how blatantly the BJP is trying to blackmail and jeopardize uh, the democratic process, which is in place. You have seen that during the first phase of elections and also the second phase, how the people have come forward in support of the Congress. So this has, you know, made them desperate. And in their desperation, they have used the official machinery, even the EC, and they have tried to uh, transfer the uh, EVM machines, which actually shouldn't have been done. And it was found in uh, the candidate's uh, wife's name. The, the vehicle is registered in the candidate's wife's name. Mr. Uh, Shudendu, uh, Kishendu Paul's wife's name is Madhumita Paul. And they are, they are saying that bad weather and inclement weather, bad roads. So they just hail, happen to hail some, uh, you know, uh, vehicle on the way to transfer the uh, EVMs. Uh, what man, nonsense man, is that? Have you seen? Have you seen the report of the EC? Also, they said that they just had, uh, turned, They just went and you know hailed one vehicle. Okay, Mr. Sharma, I think I think Mr. Yes. Gogoi wants to react. Yes, Mr. Yes, sir, Gogoi. No, no. Let me finish first. Let okay. me finish. I heard Congress, him. So let me finish. Let me finish first. Yes. Mr. Gogoi, she has she has a her bit to say. Can you, Mr. Gogoi, Mr. Mr. Gogoi, just hold on a second. Yes. Let him have the patience to hear me out. Okay, so please go ahead. So we have seen ahead. we have seen how blatantly they are misusing even the official machinery. Now the and and also it is the vehicle of of Patar Kandi Kishindu Paul the candidate and the uh, the EVMs were coming from Ratabadi. But what is the action against Kishan Dupal? It is his okay. car, his wife's car. They have not mentioned that. That is not mentioned in the in the EC notice. No, what is, what action are they taking action? against the candidate? Be, that is what we want action? to know. Okay. Why should there be any is there any connection uh, established? Why not? The, it's the it is the candidate's the wife's the vehicle. EC Why shouldn't there be any action against the candidate? And the candidate? Is there any communication between them? Okay. 
Let's get in Mr. Ali here. I'll, I'll request Mr. Gogoi and Ms. Sharma to just hold on a second. Uh, Mr. Ali, what does your experience say? Should there be action against the candidate as well, whose car it is? No, no, I don't think uh, there should be any action against the candidate unless it is proved. It is all subject to inquiry. But there should be some probe. Basic thing is, is, the vehicle is there should be enough? some probe, certainly. What are you saying? The Those, vehicle is not proof enough? The vehicle just uh, just no. uh, existed out of nowhere? Are you mean? Do you mean to say that? The vehicle existed. I mean, the vehicle is not proof enough. What, is, what more proof do you need? Ms. Sharma, Ms. Sharma, let Mr. Mr. Ali just finish. He's saying that the probe should be done. Yes, please go ahead, Mr. Ali. There is no, no harm in getting a probe, okay. whether that was intentionally he had sent this vehicle or not. And number two, I said that the vehicle broke down, is also, is also to be probed. And number three, even if there are breakdown, he should have requested his sector master to send the alternate pickup vehicle. Why did he take lift in some other vehicle? Right. Uh, suddenly he should be punished. Right. Right. Uh, so, Mr. Gogoi, uh, last uh, answer last there. Time. I just have about uh, one minute. Uh, so, uh, I, do you think uh, uh, the candidate of BJP would be open to any sort of probe in case there is one? Of course, there should be probe because it is a matter of grace concern. But it, it will come out to, in the open very soon that there is no connection between the EC officials and the candidate. It is it's absolutely clear it is just because of the, uh, they made an error of judgment and to, took lift in that particular car. And um, by the way, it is the Congress people, Congress supporters, who have protested, who have came just after uh, some time. And uh, it shows the robust democracy. Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, so nothing, many let's, let's just there give... nothing called EVM manipulation or anything. Okay. Mr. Gogi, let's just give uh, Ms. Sharma an opportunity to have a say. Yes, Ms. Sharma. It is so very convenient that the vehicle happened to be the vehicle of a candidate of the BJP. It is so very convenient. So what, what more proof do you need? I reiterate my statement that it is the vehicle in the name of Madhumita Paul, wife of Kishandu Paul, of Patar Kandi, BJP MLA. So the, the, the uh, BJP MLA has to be questioned. There's right. no two, two thing about it. it he okay. has to be questioned. Okay, thank you very much uh, for joining in, uh, Ms. Sharma, Mr. Ali, Mr. Gogoi. Uh, definitely, it is something that needs to be probed, and the Election Commission has already ordered uh, a re-polling in that booth.